Will Mars become the next human land? In this video I will tell you amazing facts about Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun. The Romans named the red color of the planet after the god of war. In fact, the Romans imitated the ancient Greeks, who called the planet the name of the god of war Ares. Other planets also gave names to the planet based on its color. For example, Mars was called the Egyptians named it Disher, meaning red, while the Chinese astronomers called it the Star of Fire. The planet Mars is famous for its bright rust color because of the iron-rich minerals in its texture. That are full of falling dust and rocks that cover its surface. Also, the Earth's soil is heaped loaded with organic content. When iron or rust minerals are oxidized, this causes the soil to appear red. The cold, thin atmosphere means that water can't stay on the planet's surface for very long. It may contain some mutations that lead to the emergence of salty water that flows on the surface. But this evidence is disputed by scientists, that is, despite the monitoring of some hydrogen indicating the presence of salt salts. This means that the planet that is only the radius of the Earth contains the same amount from dry land. Mars Volcanoes the Red Planet is home to the highest mountain, lowest mountain, and longest valley in the solar system. Mars also has the largest volcanoes in the solar system, and Olympus Mons is one of them. The supervolcano, about 370 miles, 600 kilometers, in diameter, is wide enough to cover the state of New Mexico. Olympus Mons has slopes that rise gradually like the volcanoes in Hawaii. And they were created by eruptions of lava that flowed over long distances before solidifying. Mars also has many other types of volcanic terrain, from steep little cones to enormous plains coated in lava. Some minor eruptions still occur on the planet. The slopes and channels show that liquid water may have flowed on Mars at some point. Water can collect in craters in underground rocks. Some studies conducted in 2018 showed that salty water under the surface of the planet contains an amount of oxygen, which supports microbial life, and the amount of oxygen present depends on heat and pressure. Temperatures change on Mars from time to time, as does the tilt of the rotation axis. Many regions of Mars are flat, low-lying plains below the northern plains among the brightest and smoothest places in the solar system, likely created by water that once flowed across the surface of Mars. The northern hemisphere is mostly at a lower elevation than the southern hemisphere, which indicates that the crust may be thinner in the north than in the south. This difference between North and South may be due to a very large influence shortly after the birth of the planet Mars. Mars weather Mars is colder than Earth, due to its greater distance from the Sun. The normal temperature is minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 60 degrees Celsius. Although it can vary from minus 195 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 125 degrees Celsius, near the poles. During the winter it reaches up to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius, at midday near the equator. The carbon dioxide-rich environment is 100 times less dense than Earth is naturally, but dense enough to support weather, clouds and winds. Atmospheric density changes seasonally, with winters forcing carbon dioxide to freeze on Mars. In the distant past, the atmosphere was much denser and could have supported the flow of water on its surface. With the passage of time, light particles escaped in the Martian atmosphere under the pressure of the solar wind which affected Mars because it does not have a global magnetic field. Dust storms on Mars are the largest of their kind in the solar system and are capable of covering the entire red planet and lasting for whole months. A possible reason why sandstorms grow so quickly is that dust particles can absorb sunlight, heating the Martian atmosphere in their surroundings. These hot particles then flow towards cooler regions, heating the entire atmosphere, and thus increasing winds and dust. These storms and severe climatic fluctuations confirm the impossibility of living on this planet, at least for the time being. In addition to all this, Mars has a thin atmosphere that makes up about 0.6% of Earth's atmosphere. Which means that it is constantly exposed to intense galactic cosmic radiation and solar protons. Any human being on its surface would be exposed to this intense rate of harmful radiation. And run the risk of cancer, cardiovascular disease, brain damage and cognitive decline. In addition to the problem of gravity and many other problems. Now that we've reached the end of the episode, do you still think Mars is as livable as Earth? Tell us in the comments and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive all the upcoming videos.